Okay. What's up, guys? Um, we're talking about angles related to a circle. We're going to learn about all the different angles relationships within a circle today. Some of these we have already seen, so it's going to be a review. And then we're just going to add a few to those. And it's not that difficult at all. First of all, central angle. We know that the central angle is congruent to the arc measure. Just to review, what's the difference between the arc measure and the arc length? Yes? The degree measure, very good. When I say arc measure, I'm talking about the degree measure, very good. And what is arc length? It's the, the distance from one point. It's the arc. distance of the arc, very good. The part of the circumference. So how would you find arc length? What is the formula? Uh, X over, or angle, central angle. Central angle over 360? Times circumference. Times circumference. Excellent. Great job. So we're talking about angle measures and arc measures, though. So we're talking about degrees, OK? We're talking about degrees. OK, inscribed angle. Well, an inscribed angle, the angle itself, OK, the angle itself is half of the arc measure, or vice versa. The arc measure is twice the angle measure. All of these have been reviewed so far. Then we have what's called the secant-secant angle. And the secant-secant angle we've also seen as well. If you could tell with the color coded here, we've got x equals a, okay, a minus b, and half of that. So it's half of a minus b, okay, green and red. That's the secant secant. All of those three we've seen before. Now we got a new one. Chord chord. And chord chord, okay, it's A, sorry about that, and B. So for chord chord, even though the angles here are congruent. That does not mean that the angles are equal to the arc measures, because these are not central angles. So in order to find x here, this chord chord angle, it's equal to 1 half of a plus b. It's equal to 1 half a plus b. That's the chord chord. And again, just because this is x degrees, does not mean that B is X degrees. That only works for central angles, okay? So in order to find X here, X equals one half of A plus B. I'm gonna split screen it just in case, okay? We got three more. We got the tangent chord angle. Now, the tangent chord angle, angle X here, this angle, is half of the arc measure. So it's the same exact formula as an inscribed angle. It's the same formula as an inscribed angle. It's a tangent and a chord. Okay, they're going to intersect here. That angle is half of the intercepted arc. It is the same formula as an inscribed angle. Okay, does that make sense? Okay. Okay, now, now we've got tangent, tangent angle. And the tangent, tangent angle here is x equals one half of a minus b. It is the same formula as the secant secant. And last but not least, the secant tangent. The secant tangent is also the same formula as the secant secant. It's x equals one half of a minus b. So in essence, you really only have three formulas to memorize. Central angle, okay, central angle, let's go ahead and highlight these. 
central angle, you have you have the angle is equal to the arc measure. Okay? Inscribed angle, you have that the angle is tw is half of the arc measure. Secant secant angle, one half of A minus B. Chord chord angle, one half of A plus B. Tangent chord equals X equals twice the arc, uh, one half of the arc, I'm sorry. X equals one half of the arc. For tangent tangent angle, it's one half of A minus B. And for secant tangent angle, it's one half of A minus B. Does that make sense? Okay. May I? Awesome. Okay, now, let's go ahead and hook up some problems. That's it. I went ahead and encapsulated everything for you in figures instead of putting it in words. It's a little bit easier to see it in figures. Yes. Sure, we have a volunteer for this. Well, how would we find angle A here, son? Very good, son. This is a secant secant, so it's one half of 100 minus 20, which is going to be 40 degrees. Done. It's very simple as long as you learn and memorize the formulas. It's going to help you also in the SAT and the ACT, I promise. Okay. Now this one, let me change this a little bit because it doesn't really look like a tangent. Let me... I messed up on the drawing here. I apologize. Okay, now it's a little bit more accurate. Now, in this case, I want to find angle F. Now, here we just have to use our brain. Yes? What are we missing here? We're missing arc KJ, correct? Okay, so we have, what, what I'm being told is, a circle is 360 degrees minus the 160 degrees that you already have leaves you with 200 degrees. And that 200 degrees is going to equal arc JK. Excellent, son. Excellent. I couldn't have done it better myself. Now, what does angle F equal? Half of... A minus B, so that will equal 70 degrees. Very, very good. Excellent. Does everyone see that? This was a chord tangent. So it's the same formula, one half of A minus B. Does that make sense? Okay. How about this one right here? How would I find the measure for angle Q here? Before we find angle Q, what do we first have to find? What are we missing here? The major arc PAM. And what would that major arc be, my man? 260, absolutely, because 360 minus the given arc gives you a remaining arc of 260. So angle Q would equal 1 half of 260 minus 100, which would give you 80 degrees. It's making sense, y'all? Yeah. Pretty simple, right? Awesome. Okay. Please read. AB is a diameter. Arc BD is 20. Arc DE is 104. I want to find the measure of angle C. Yes. Perfect. Okay, what did he say? First of all, he realized that since I have diameter AB, that is literally exactly a straight angle, that is the center angle, so that's 180 degrees. So that means that from B, this arc from B to A, has to be 180 as well. So 180 minus 124 
gives you 56 degrees. Now that you know both missing arcs, how can I find angle C? One half of 56 minus 20, which is going to equal 18 degrees. That makes sense. Awesome. We got a bunch more examples to make sure that you guys understand this, okay? And all of these, of course, are in your book. So you don't have to draw it out if you want. You can look at your book, refer to it, and then um, save a little bit of time. Okay. How would we find angle Y? Please note that the intersection point here is not the center. Just wanted to let you know that real quick. So how would we find angle Y here first? Yes. Thank you. First thing you have to do is you have to find angle AED or BEC. Fantastic. So either one is going to be the same because they are vertical angles. So angle AED equals what, my man? Half of 47 plus 29. And that is going to equal... Uh, half of 76, so that would be 38 degrees. Now, what does Y equal? Very good. Since this is 38 degrees, and this is a su these are supplementary angles, 180 minus 38 would give you 142 degrees equals Y. So you have to do two calculations there. Is that understandable to y'all? Makes sense? Okay. Okay, how would we find angle X here in this particular case? This is a chord chord, so this is half of 27 plus 88, and that's going to be 115. Half of 115 is... Um, 57.5 degrees. How would you find angle Y in this particular case? This is a secant secant, so it's one half of 57 minus 31. So Y is going to equal 26 divided by 2, which is 13 degrees. Very good. Now, I know I'm going fast, so I'll split this up, okay? I know I'm going pretty fast. Okay, how would we find angle Z here? Angle Z would equal? One half of 233 minus 127. And that's going to equal 53. Very good. Because the difference is 106 divided by 2. Angle C would be 53 degrees. Good? Okay. Now we switch it up a little bit. Now I want to find the missing arc. Why? The missing arc measure, let me be clear. The missing arc measure, why? Excellent. I have a recognition that this is a chord chord. So that means that 72 equals one half of 21 plus y. Let's multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of that 2. And you get 144 equals 21 plus y. Subtract 21 to both sides, and you got 123 degrees equals Y. Yes. I didn't square it here, sir. I multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of the fraction, son. I did not square it. I multiplied by 2. Thank you. Very good question. So same kind of logic. 
how would I find, ah, uh, wrong. How would I find arc C here, the measure of that arc there, C? This is a, a secant chord, very good, so it's going to be 32 equals 1 half of 125 minus Z. Again, you multiply both sides by 2 over 1, getting 64 equals 125 minus Z. Subtract 125 to both sides, and you get... Uh, Negative 61 equals, equals negative z divided by negative 1. Sorry about that. Divided by negative 1, z equals 61 degrees. Making sense? Okay, we're almost done. Appreciate your patience. We're almost done here. Okay. How do we find this one? How do we find angle A here, or arc A? A equals 170. This is an inscribed angle. So A is twice the, the angle measure. So 2 times 65 would be 170. Oh, maybe I need to learn how to multiply. It's 130. I apologize. 130. Need to get my multiplication skills. That was an easy one. Okay, last one. Find the measure of arcs A, B, and C, D. Now, in this particular case, we don't have enough information to find anything, really. We have two unknown variables. We have arc AB, which is unknown, which we call X. And we have DC, which is unknown, which I called Y. I could have called it A and B or C and D or L and K, whatever you wanted. But I went ahead and made this easy. Now that I have defined the arcs AB and DC, tell me if this is true. Doesn't 65 degrees equal one half of x plus y because it's a chord chord so doesn't 65 equal one half of x plus y and then doesn't 24 degrees which is a secant secant doesn't 24 equal one half of x minus y you guys with me Okay, so why don't we go ahead and multiply 2 to both of these. I'm going to have 130 equals x plus y, and I'm going to have 48 equals x minus y. The y's cancel. 178 equals 2x divided by 2, and I'm going to get that x equals 89 degrees. So if x equals 89 degrees... Okay, now how do I find Y? Plug it into either one of these. Absolutely, gentlemen. 24 equals 1 half of 89 minus Y. Multiply 2 to both sides. 48 equals 89 minus Y. Subtract 89 to both sides. Negative 41 equals negative Y. So Y equals 41 degrees. So we just found both arcs. And that's it. Hope you guys learned a lot today. Have a great day. Thank you very much.